All right. Are you ready to enter the Great Tribulation? You are? I'm not. Because we still have to deal with verse 13. He who perseveres, I prefer that word, to the end, that is the end of the tribulation period, shall be delivered. What is saved referring to? Well, Jesus talks about it later on. He's going to talk about the great tribulation. And he's going to be saying in verse 22, unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. Aha, we have another repetition of a word. And if we took the word saved in verse 22 of eternal salvation, then eternal salvation depends on the days being shortened. That's not what it's saying. It's using the word saved the same way you and I would use the word saved, and that is to be delivered from the terrors that are ravaging the earth. That is to be physically delivered. So he who perseveres to the end will be delivered. You say, well, what about the poor people who die as martyrs? Wouldn't you say they persevered to the end? Wouldn't you say that they will be delivered? The question then, delivered from what? They'll be delivered from failure and loss when they stand before the Lord. So I want to talk about this just a little bit. Turn with me to Daniel chapter 11. Daniel gives us a little foretaste of what it's going to be like for believers in the tribulation period. He says in Daniel 11, verse 32, those who do wickedly against the covenant, that is against the Mosaic covenant, the old covenant, he, Antichrist, shall corrupt with flattery. You know, with some people, flattery will get you anything. Politicians know this. That's why they are, for the most part, a pack of liars. They'll tell you anything you want to hear so that they get elected. There are a few that are good, but many have been corrupted. Notice that he shall corrupt with flattery. It's been said that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. We've seen it happen again and again and again. But the people who know their God shall be strong. That is, they're going to have supernatural power. And they are going to carry out great exploits. I believe that some of the things that are going to happen in the tribulation period are going to be absolutely astounding. I believe that there will be a return of supernatural activity like the world has not seen in some time, particularly those of us in the Western world. I was just asked a question about things in the third world. Christians in the third world see things that you and I never see. And the reason is because they're not comfortable. They're not complacent. And they have no backup system. They have no bank account. They have no safety net. They have no welfare. So they rely on God. We say we trust God. But what we mean is, if my safety net and my bank account and my retirement plan fail, the Lord will help me. They have none of those things. So these people in the tribulation are going to be carrying out great exploits. And those of the people who understand shall instruct many. Now this should be happening now. These verses should be a portrait of you and I. We should be the people who truly know our God. Not just knowing about Him. Knowing Him personally. We should be the ones 
who have supernatural strength and carry out great exploits, and we should be instructing many. Yet for many days they shall fall by sword and flame, by captivity and plundering. How many days? How many? How many? For certain, 1260. We run into that in Revelation, you know. Verse 34, now when they fall, in other words, when they fall under the weight of the attack, the persecution, they shall be aided with a little help. Isn't that great of God to just come in and help them a little? You know why God sometimes only helps you a little? Because with God, a little is always enough. When they fall, they will be given a little help. Many shall join with them by intrigue. In other words, there will always be deceivers. Don't trust everyone simply because they have a nice smile. Don't trust someone just because they have good words. Verse 35, some of those of understanding shall fall to refine them, to purge them, and to make them pure until the time of the end. He who endures to the end shall be saved because it is still for the appointed time. In other words, what the author here is saying, Daniel is saying that some are going to fall and they're going to die. And some are going to fall and they'll be given a little help and they will be carried through to the end. In other words, they will persevere to the end and they will be delivered. They're going to make it through to the end. In other words, they are going to persevere in the faith.